This is the end of the lecture. I have a little analogy to help you remember first, second, third law of thermodynamics. It's not original to me. It's been out there for many years. Well, first law, second law, and third law are all about really energy. And the first law says energy is conserved. Energy can be realized in different forms. It can be an internal, kinetic, potential energy, different forms of energy, chemical energy, but energy is conserved. It can be converted between forms, and as an engineer, we like to do that. We like to manipulate and convert energy between forms. But at the end of the day, the sum of the energy is constant. You didn't create any energy. You didn't destroy ener any energy. You just transferred it between forms as a clever engineer. True? The second law says there's a preferred direction for energy transfers. It's easy to convert work into heat. It's hard to convert heat into work. And when they first did it, they thought it was impossible. If you want to lift something, get a muscle. Muscle on an animal or a muscle on a human. That's it. You don't burn something. A fire is to cook food. You're going to burn some wood and you're going to then pump water out of a mine? This is ridiculous. You're nuts. It's not going to happen. Heat engines were a major part of the Industrial Revolution, true? Burning something to turn something, burning something to lift something, do mechanical work. So we were going Q to work, which is hard. The second law is there's a preferred direction in the transformation of energy. Third law, something about molecular motion in zero Kelvin saying, that when you have something that's not at zero Kelvin, it has molecular motion. And gases at high temperature have high molecular motion. And liquids at lower temperatures, less. Solids at lower temperature, less molecular motion. But you, you can't get below the absolute minimum where you have no molecular motion, zero Kelvin, in a well-defined structure, a crystalline structure. Everything is well-defined in that case. And so that deals with the third law of thermodynamics. So what we do is we say, well, there's got to be an analogy over with energy. A lot of our lives are dealing with money. The analogy between gambling, that's money and money transfer, and it says first law in gambling is money is conserved. At the beginning of the day, you have so much money. The house has so much money. You're gambling in Las Vegas against the house, right? And the money is there at the end of the day, when you go to bed, the money's conserved. Either you won and the house lost, or you lost and the house won. True? But money didn't just trade and destroy. It's, it's conserved. But what's the analogy with the second law? There's a preferred direction to the transfer of money. Second law is house always wins. That's the analogy there. It's a preferred direction in the transfer of money. And the third law is, unfortunately, you can't stop playing until you've reached absolute zero.